Hi, uh, I'm Chiama Parente and I'm Bianca in Viari. Uh, you're watching the Permanent Rain Press and I can't wait to uh, begin the interview. Hi everyone, it's Chloe with the Permanent Rain Press today. I am happy to be joined by Fiamma Parente. Hello. Hi everybody. Hi. I'm so happy to be talking to you. You, of course, play a big part in season two of Diari. But before we talk about the show, I wanted to ask you, what can you share about your background in the arts and when you knew you had a love for performing? Uh, yeah, uh, so um, when I was a child, I had always um, um, shows with my classmates and I... Um, took part in a theater classes and when i was 12 i had my first apparition in um in tv with a minor role in a short film and uh, from this little experience uh i understood that i liked um begin on set so um every time uh, i watched a movie or a series i've always questioned to me how it was to um how it was begin on the other side of the screen and uh, in this way that um everything uh has begun and you said musical theater and the stage what is your favorite production that you have been a part of and why um so my favorite um musical um production uh i um, that i had a part in was the little shop of horrors because i really liked the song that i sang and uh, also the um, soundtracks and were all amazing so uh it was a very long and funny um training journey but um, I love my character and the plot of the story that was a thriller, but at the same time, uh, a fun story. So um, I hope to bring the show um, one day back because it was um, an amazing experience. Um, this is an experience that I will remember forever and because it made me satisfied. And this is the um, experience that made me understand that musical is, that musicals are my other uh, big passion. It's good that you can kind of have the this theater, but also music and combine mm -hmm. those two into, a, who was the character that you played in Little Shop of Horrors? Um, she was um, uh, a teenager and uh, I was with uh, two other girls that um, uh, were singing with me and uh, we uh, were the three uh, chorists of the, of the musical but we also had uh, some uh, songs that we sang um, alone like solists or uh, together, but uh, also the musics were so um, fun uh, because the words were really funny. What do you really enjoy about being on stage? Like, how would you say it makes you feel when you step onto the stage? Every time uh, that I'm on stage, I feel... Um, so excited because in front of all these people that are real there and um, all the uh, things that um, you hear from the public are real and the theater is different for uh, from the cinema uh, from the cin cinema's world uh, for this model because on the uh, when you're in a theater um, show uh, you can um, hear the reaction of the public in that moment and so the you have got to leave the the moment 
That's such a good way to say it because you are really getting the reaction from people in real time, unlike in cinema where you have to wait for the show to come out and then you get to hear what people have to say. Now, in terms of acting and, and, and film, have you studied or done any training in film? Uh, yeah, I, I've been studying in a theater class and in a musical theater class since I was 13, but um, I had always singing and dancing. Uh, my passion for acting um, began when I was nine, but I, I've always uh, studied uh, for, for me when I didn't, uh, when, when I wasn't in a theater class. I guess you would watch the cinema and then kind of learn from from watching your favorite movies and and shows. Uh, my favorite movie is Kill Bill, uh, directed by Tarantino, and my favorite shows um, like musicals, uh, like musical is um, uh, I think a Little Shop of Horrors, but. Um, uh, uh, the Frozen musical too. I Disney. I'm in love with it. Yeah, I ho I hope that one day I'll be uh, Anna in Frozen. I was going to say you have a like resemblance to her. You could definitely play her. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Now, in July, you were at the Giffoni Film Festival. You got to go with your Diari castmates, Andrea and Flavia. It was such a big, formal event. How was that experience for you? It was uh, like um, living in uh, a dream for me. Uh, to be honest, I was a bit uh, nervous and anxious, but um, because it was the first time I took part in a such um, uh, that I took part to such a big event like this, and uh, at the same time um, I was excited and all the things I, I I experienced that day were incredible, and I remember when we saw the first episode of the second season with old fans. I was so happy that I got emotional and cried in front of all the people and who were there. And I couldn't believe that um, I was achieving the dream of my life and the dream I, uh, I had since I was a child. And I think we couldn't uh, we have wished for a better debut because um, we really felt all the love uh, from the um, fans. I'm glad that you kind of got that little event in before the premiere of season two, because that was another big party. You had the back to school party. How was that event? And what do you remember from your activities on that day? So um, this was a beautiful day too. And as soon as we arrived there, all the diaries um, cast made a photo call and uh, on, a, um, on a red carpet. And after that, we took photos and videos with uh, all the fans. And um, each of us had um, activities to uh, do with the fans. So for example, I um, sang my song uh, Brava live for the first time. And uh, I was afraid of forgetting or getting wrong the lyrics, um, but luckily it didn't happen. And uh, we all answered um, fans questions together. And uh, we got to watch uh, LDA perform live because uh, he was there with us. It looked like a lot of fun. I saw the different pictures and videos from the event and your performance. Uh, they also posted it on YouTube and you sounded fantastic. Was it, were you really ner nervous? I don't think you could not tell that you were nervous. So when you get up on stage is it just like does it all kind of go away for you the the butterflies uh so i was um 
a little bit nervous and anxious, but I was so excited because um, I've always um, se- uh, seen, you know, and um, this for me was like, living in a dream and I couldn't believe it because I um, didn't expect that I, uh, that one day I had to uh, sing uh, my song in front of all these people. And this was a dream that I realized too. Now, what can you share about your audition process for Diari as Bianca? And did you know about the show before you auditioned? Um, uh, so, uh, yes, I was familiar with uh, Diari because I saw the series with my sister when uh, the first season came out. And uh, from the first reading of um, the script they uh, sent me for the audition, uh, I fell in love with the character of Bianca. And I fell in love with her behavior and her insecurities. And uh, I remember that I really hope to take on the the role because Bianca is so similar to me. So uh, when I had the um, third audition for Bianca's role, I met Pietro, that is Mirko in uh, Diari. And we acted together and uh, uh, we acted the this, this scene where Uh, we scream to the sea Um, and I was truly anxious uh, but Pietro made me feel um, calm since the start of work so I remember that the director told me that Bianca was a very um, sunny and sweet girl and uh, when I did the audition he gave me a lot of key points of Bianca's lifestyle and uh, when I received the um, positive um, audition message, I was at um, my sister's show and um, wa- was a few days before Christmas. So I remember I was reading the message uh, uh, several times because I couldn't believe it and was um, like a real Christmas gift for me. That is such a great kind of memory to have because you, you know, you really wanted this part, you connected with her and then you get the good news and it's just around the holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, I remember that I um, was so happy and um, I love um, the Christmas period, but this um, answer um, made me more happy that I was how was your first day on set? Like, what do you remember from your first day filming and maybe meeting a lot of the other cast members for the first time? So I was, um, I strongly wanted to get part in the group. Um, and for this reason, I felt a bit anxious because they all uh, they all already uh, knew each other from the first season and I was a new person in the cast. Um, but on the contrary, uh, from the first reading of the script altogether, they approached to me for um, introduce themselves and talk to me. Since that moment, I was mm, really relics and um, I feel better I felt better Um, you talked a bit about Bianca's qualities um, which I like that she related to you and she has two strong moms they both have good careers however Bianca doesn't always have the best relationship with them tell me about Bianca's relationship with her moms and why she does not feel seen and understood I think Bianca has um, a good relationship with her moms and that's why she doesn't want to disappoint them. And Katerina and Emma want their girl uh, to be happy and to uh, achieve her dreams. And as you can, as you can see, uh, as you can see in the series, and they do everything they can do for 
um, for her to get her involved in the musical. And at the same time, um, they have always overlooked the loneliness um, Bianca felt because um, of their work and all the moving that they um, uh, were around, um, they were moving around and change house every time. And uh, they don't realize how it was important for Bianca to uh, have friends and to have a place to come home. And now that she has found it, she doesn't know how to uh, uh, tell her mothers that she doesn't want to go away. And Emma is strict because um, she's also a basket uh, teacher, a basket um, uh, coach and uh, wants to instill in Bianca the values of discipline, commitments, and respect of the rules. Like tells uh, Pietro in the first episode. Yeah. I, I really like how you said it because she she does get along with her moms really well and they only want the best for her. So it is hard for her to kind of tell them she still wants to maybe be a a star in the future but at this time she needs to focus on on school and her friends and she does fit in with 3D so well it happens so quickly for her why do you think Bianca got along with this group immediately um I believe Bianca integrated quickly because um the group was immediately friendly towards her. And so she felt wanted by the group right away. And um, she found in them the friendship that she had always dreamed of. And um, the most beautiful thing is that this aspect was immediately reflected by um, in the real in, in the real life, and right from the first day. Because uh, personally, I became attached to the Diaries family um, very quickly, and um, yes, I I also think Bianca um, could have answered Julia that the group is um, characterized by all different people, but we that support uh, each uh, each other and i think uh, that this is the the blend uh, this is the motive why they are so friends now which was your favorite scene in episodes 1 to 7 to be a part of and why um my favorite scene is um Undoubtedly, the scene where I scream at the sea with Mirko, and uh, I'm very attached to the scene, to that scene because um, it was the first scene I read, and the scene I I brought to the audition. So uh, the most challenging scene uh, to shot too, and um, but. Uh, above all, the most sin- significant significant scene for Bianca's story because it represents the moment where um, when um, a spark uh, ignites uh, between the two characters, and uh, it's the moment when she realizes she can rely on him. Her panic attack scene. It was very emotional, but it was so well done uh, by you. How did you prepare for a scene like that? I um, uh, remember that I told to uh, a friend that had this situation in real life. So she described to me the... um, um, described how she felt in that moment. And I also... um, saw some videos uh, of panic attacks scenes and where I was uh, on set I focused on um, uh, something that made me feel uh, bad or feel anxious or uh, afraid of something and that um, helped me um, a lot yeah 
it was such a good scene and then the screaming at the sea is is such an important one I was just talking to Fed Federica and she said that that was her favorite scene um, as well between you and Pietro screaming and tell me a bit more about their connection because they become a musical duo they share a kiss mm -hmm. in episode seven what do you think Bianca sees in Mirko? Bianca and Mirko are bonded by their strong passion for music and um, they complement each other because they provide support when things aren't going well and like uh, we can see in the episode four where uh, where Bianca um, was so um, anxious to talk with her mothers and um, they love composing songs together and Pia Bianca sees in him uh, a true uh, refuge and a source of security for her and she's certain that he's always there for her in times of need or in the bad moments and uh, with him she feels uh, understood and believes that um, he's very similar to her because so they have the same passion uh, they like the same things the same songs and uh, Mirko is the only one who noticed that Bianca has a problem and um, he would be the one to uh, help her to solve it and uh, she likes how he makes uh, her feel or how he comforts her and um, his sense of humor he's uh, deep but at the same time fun um, and charming way of being there for her and they definitely uh, support each other through music and the strong bond that has formed thanks to this passion many times even um a smile or a hug can uh, be enough to breathe on their day. You did mention that you met Pietro during the audition process and that he mm -hmm. was easy to, to talk to. You two do have um, things in common. You both do play music, um, play instruments, and also have a love for theater and the stage. So did you and Pietro get to know each other and, and kind of build that relationship off screen as well? Working on this project uh, with Pietro has been fantastic because um, a bath of growth for me, for my, so um, he was a part of growth for me, uh, for my work and also for the development of Bianca's uh, storyline and for Bianca's character. Um, right from the first time we uh, recorded our initial, initial scenes together, uh, there was a harmony and a beautiful friendship that um, formed. And uh, we built Mirko and Bianca's bond together by studying the, their thoughts. And uh, I'm happy to go on, on this journey with him. I love the pillow fight scene in episode seven with Bianca, Mirko, Daniele. Do you remember anything from filming that scene and I I guess it was a lot of fun to film. Uh yeah, uh I remember that I um had a really fun fun the, the day and uh, um when we stop the the scene I can't stop laughing because uh the director and the assistant director were recording the the scene uh, were making I was laughing and um, there was a time where I can't stop because um, everything makes me makes me uh, laughing. It's it's fun when that's part of your work that you have to do because I mean a pillow fight is something you can do at like a sleepover or a slumber party and you're getting to work and film a pillow fight at the same time. Well, I thought season two did an excellent job of showing real life issues for young people in cyberbullying, pressures from family and friends, and then mental health and anxiety, which Bianca was a big part of. Were you proud to be a part of this season that showed all these issues on screen? 
Um, yes, I was thrilled, thrilled to um, be part of this project for this reason as well. And uh, I believe it's crucial to show young people solution to teenage problems because um, very often we lock ourselves uh, up with our problems and we always th always thinking that the solution uh, is uh, close um, close off ourselves, but it's not like this. We uh, have got always to talk. Uh, of our problems and the uh, diary to the public precisely shows the solution and how to approach these situations and the uh, diary shows the solution is never uh, to close oneself but always to talk about that's so well said so thank you for sharing that and the show really does do a good job of showing um, people and young people that these problems exist. And like you mentioned, there is help and support out there, especially from, from friends and, and family. Now, Bianca ends up telling her moms, um, she has a solution. She has to tell them she does not want to move and do the musical. Um, do you think that she is happy and confident with that decision? If I were to give uh, um, advice to Bianca, I will tell her never, never to leave her dreams. And however, unlike me, Bianca grew up with moves. And uh, so her desire of um, stability is understandable. And uh, in my opinion, since she... Um, uh, since she has now found her happiness, she will not regret her choice. But I think it's um, right in this way too. Now, which was your favorite scene as a viewer and why? So a scene that Bianca was not in. So my favorite uh, scene was uh, the scenes where... the uh, So the last uh, scenes of uh, the... Uh, seventh episode where uh, Lydia tries to um, kiss Pietro but he uh, refused that uh, refused there and this is um I didn't expect that and uh, I think it's the same things for the public and so this is my favorite where I'm not in yeah what are some of your favorite memories from set and behind the scenes? I've got many um, um, uh, things that mm, I remember behind the scenes. Like um, before to uh, go on set, uh, we were always with the uh, makeup artists and, and uh, uh, we um, all singing together or dancing together <laughs> a lot of time like one hour so, and um, every day so this was a, um, a funny room remember that I have or um, when we were uh, shooting the uh, scenes where we um, were at the follow we um, were in March, so it was really freezing. And uh, uh, between our Chuck and uh, Odor, um, the makeup artist and the uh, assistant uh, gave them uh, some cover or uh, something to close us because we were really cold. It was really cold. And uh, uh, we uh, drink, drank hot tea together. Uh, I wanted to talk about your song Brava, which was your debut single and was featured in season two. How was your experience recording that song? So um, it was so much fun recording uh, this track. And um, I was in the studio with uh, Filadelfo, uh, that was the producer of this song and directed me in an amazing way and uh, giving me fantastic advice and guidance to follow. And uh, I'm very attached to this song because um, it tells about 
Bianca story. And um, moreover, moreover, the song style is super cool. And uh, I hope to work on projects uh, like this again soon with uh, Phil. And it's such a good song. I'm so glad that you got the opportunity and, ch and chance to sing the song as part of the show. Uh, now, you and Federica are quite close in real life, of course, who plays Monica. Um, what can you say about her as a person and the friendship that you have? Uh, so we met on set and uh, became friends from uh, the very first days in real and uh, we're still very close friends and uh, even now that filming uh, has ended we talk often and uh, see each other despite uh, we living in two different cities and uh, i care about that a lot and i hope this friendship can uh, last forever because uh, having her uh, close is very important for me and uh, yeah i really love her and you two also like filming TikToks together, which is, I'm sure, fun to do. And the fans love it on social media, all the cast on TikTok. Uh, now, what message do you have for the fans of the show, um, especially the support from the Italian community and a lot of the fans that you have met in person? So to all the fans, I would like to say that uh, always believe in your dream, uh, in your dreams and strive to achieve them because uh, everything is possible. And uh, as of the, the Aris cast are the proof. So I hope the audience will uh, appreciate the themes that this season trackless and uh, the way we've approached them uh, because we uh, every day we're there to study and um, try to make in the best way this uh, all the scenes that you can see and uh, I hope each of our characters can um, convey something to them and what can you tease about the second half of the season? I know you can't say spoilers, but um, maybe just in general, like what can we expect from these future episodes and from Bianca's story? Uh, so um, I'm sorry, but unfortunately, I can't say anything about the second part of season. But um, I can say that it will be full of plot twists so this is stay um, tuned stay tuned make sure you watch yeah. the second half of the season I mean I was sad because I really wanted to see Bianca and Mirko sing together like they were supposed to at the Christmas party before it ended so I mean fingers crossed for more music um, I have one more question for you. Yeah. This is our signature question. If you could be any ice cream flavor, which would you be and why? Uh, so I think I'll choose the smart flavor because it's a taste that doesn't exist in, in real life. And uh, it gives us a sense of um, magic and uh, above all, is uh, it sent out um, among all the others for its cheerful color. So that, that's, I think, Smurf. I love it. So like, like Smurf, like the character Smurf. Smurf, like, yeah, yeah, like the character, yeah. Well, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much, Fiamma, for taking the time to chat. It's been such a pleasure. Thank you to you. And uh, it's a pleasure for me. Yeah. Well, for all those watching, you can catch Fiamma in Diary or Diaries. Season 2, Episodes 1 to 7 are out on Netflix. And we will see you next time. Yeah. Bye.